Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decisions. So in the channel, uh, the videos I post more about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff and what are the things you can do with those technologies. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the comparison between the Julia programming language and the Python programming language. So so basically, these are the two uh, like Google collab lab, uh, collaboratory like notebooks basically. So one is running uh, Julia. Uh, programming language and another one is running is a python programming language so in the first video it's it's going to be a series of videos of the comparison between these two languages and if you come from the python background it will be much more easier for you to understand the julia uh, coding because both are very similar to each other the only the comparison like what is the advantage of julia is that it's very fast it's almost fast as c but at the same time, it is uh, it's very understandable like the Python. So that is the beauty of Julia. And that's why the, a lot of people are using a Julia programming language right now. So that is why what is what I'm going to do is that like I'm going to show you the, the comparison. So so first comparison is going to be the numbers. So we all know the, the data type is number. So number data type is compared, uh, like conclude of two data types. Uh, like one is the integer and one is the float. So if you uh, the integers numbers like one, two, three. So these are the integer integer numbers, and the float numbers would be something like like two point three, okay, uh, something like uh, four point five. So these are the inter like float numbers. So in the in our programming, what we used to do is that we used to use the both numbers for our like computations and everything. So now I'm going to show you some of the basic uh, mathematical operations between these two languages and both of like how they are different to each other. So I'm going to sum up two numbers right now. So I'm going to add like two, okay, plus three. So if I do that and if I run it, you can see the five output. The similar kind of thing could happen in Python. We all know that. So if I copy it and paste it over there, in this notebook and if I run it so you can see the 5 so this is the same thing for between Julia and Python so if I go to Julia and uh, do the similar kind of thing for the subtraction like 2 minus 3 okay so the 3 oh, sorry 3 minus 2 and if I run it so it will give you the 1 the similar kind of thing I should get in Python so if I do this over here so if I run it so we'll give give you the one the same thing and now i'm going to do the multiplication and division so for the multiplication i do like i i'm going to do the two to the power three so two into two into two basically so that will give you eight so in julia if i do it like two okay to the power three and if i run it uh okay it's not coming uh, so basically this is a uh, Python syntax in Python we used to run like this like 2 to the power 3 But in Julia if you want to do it, you need to type it like this like 2 like x to the power y over here Like 2 to the power 3 the way we used to write as a like, mathematical notifications in our text notebooks basically in human centric language So that's the beauty of Julia. So if I run it You can see that I'm going to get the 8 and for the python as obvious we need to write it like this like 2 to the power 3 so you will get the desired output and suppose uh, so that is the basically difference between these two languages for this particular operation and and then a lot of difference is going to come so stay tuned to that and stay tuned to the series of videos which i'm going to post and now i'm going to do the mod mod operation so for the mod operation, well, what you know is that we used to do it in programming to find out if the number is odd or even. So for that, what you used to do, like if I just 3 mod 2, so because 3 is an odd number, we used to get the uh, not the 0 as the remainder. So that will trigger that it's a, uh, like not even number basically. So if I run it, it will give you the like a remainder of 1. And at the same time, if you for the even numbers, if you just use like four uh, uh, mod two, so it will give you the zero. Uh, 
so it will give you zero so that means that uh, the particular four number is a even number so it's a basic things you know so it's a similar thing you can do also in the python so in python you can see if i just do it so uh, that will give you zero and if you just do the three over there so that will give you one so that is the odd number so that's the similarity between these two and if you just do the uh, like division in julia so five okay by three so if i just do the divisions uh, i get this value so if i just copy this code and run it in python okay and if i run it i should get the similar yeah so all the operations are almost similar to each other only the multiplication sorry the to the power thing is different in uh, julia basically so so that is what i'm going to show you today uh, and i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel like share and i'll see you soon with my next video thank you